For the 525 program and all the team members on this program, everybody that's been involved, it's a, been a very personal journey. This is so much about the face of the customer, where the industry is going, and everybody contributing to that end solution. So people leaning forward with aggressive targets, uh, really challenging the way we've done things in the past, crossing those uh, uh, functional barriers to really get out the non-value added part of the uh, exercise and really focus on the realm of possibilities, challenging everything, working together, identifying risks, and when we do fly the aircraft, it will mean something very special to everybody that's been involved. So the next step after first flight is obviously to set that cadence for the flight test activity. How quick can we turn the aircraft? How quick can we get the other aircraft into the flight regime? but then getting our build uh, sequence going where it needs to be to be stable. So we have 10,000 parts on this aircraft and we have a very determinate tooling system which says when the parts are there, it can go together very quickly. But the parts have to be there in the right order uh, to build it in sequence. So a lot of focus on getting our supply chain aligned with the build process because we can build these aircraft with a very high level of quality and very quickly to meet the market demand if we get the parts there in the right order. So it's a new way of building an aircraft. It's the right way to build the aircraft. We can do it quickly, we can do it safely, and we can do it with a lot of quality. But the part delivery is the key to that execution, that focus on that maturity, and integrating the kits into the basic build of the aircraft, much more than we have done in the past, which really will reduce our cycle time and give us an overall uh, improved configuration at the end in terms of quality, reducing completions uh, cycle time. There's a lot of goodness there, but it's like everything else on a new program, we're gonna learn how to do it, we're gonna get good at it, uh, and that's the next focus. I think it's important as an organization that we remember what got us here. Remember that this is about the people, the people working together on the program, the customers who have been there from the very beginning to really define the requirements and we come back and validate it. The industry that so needs this next level of capability out there, uh, it is about the people, it's those intersections of the realm of possibilities that has got us to where we are and will take us to where we need to be. You know, that's a real value add and that's important in the industry and us all personally being part of that uh, is a major exclamation point in our careers and we have to look at it for the opportunity that it is and make sure that we're all continuing to stay engaged and challenging the status quo to be something different than we've been in the past, to continue to improve, leveraging off each other's ideas and their collaboration. So I think it's very exciting for the entire program and for all of Bell and really we're all part of this. We've gotten to where we are because of all the employees at Bell Helicopter thinking, dreaming, working together and talking about what that future looks like. Now we just need to get there. So it's very exciting for us.